Chapter 538, Blood Energy That Reached the Sky While Jiayu had been speaking, the demonified Zhang Tangxing began moving toward the nearest body of an ancient elite. It was the body of a person of the wood race. This person was about two and a half meters tall. This person's body resembled the trunk of a tree, had skin as brown as wood and as wrinkled as bark. His long, dark green hair looked like the foliage of a willow tree. This wood race clansman had been dead for years. Its body didn't bear any traces of a soul aura. It did, however, resemble the branches of an ancient tree that contained abundant life energy. An extremely refined life energy, at that. Up above, at the edge of the frozen lake, Zi Jingsun and Zhu Muin were watching Zhang Tanxing closely. When they saw him approach that particular body, light flashed through their eyes at the same time. Both of them were especially interested in the body of this wood race clansman. They were both aware of the fact that it held tremendous amounts of life energy, which was extremely beneficial to them. Zhu Jingsun could use its life energy to enhance her own strength and bring the inheritance she received from the wood race to even greater heights. Zhu Muin, on the other hand, could extract the life energy from this wood race clansman's body and use it to help her mother awaken and recover. In order to obtain the remains of these ancient elites, one must first obtain their acknowledgement. Jiayu spoke up once more. You can't just grab them recklessly. Every time an elite perishes, their juniors, relative, and comrades would bring them here. They would then apply a unique mark to these bodies to keep other people from abusing them and prevent any accidents. Sen Yi was able to collect the body of the arrow god and the sun-killing bow because he brought an ancient eastern barbarian treasure with him. That scarlet feather arrow was a part of the sun-killing bow to begin with. And it contained an aura that the mark on the arrow god's body acknowledged. That's the reason why Sen Yi succeeded. As for me, I already obtained acknowledgement of a soul fragment of the evil god at the demon god mountain range prior to entering the graveyard of the gods. Jiayu looked at Zi Jingxun, then indifferently said, Your aura is slightly similar to that of the body of the wood race elite down there. You may be able to acquire it. He looked at Zhu Moin and shook his head. You would probably fail. How about him? Zi Jingxun and Zhu Moin asked in unison. They were referring to Zhang Tanxing. Right now, the demonified Zhang Tanxing had already arrived beside the body of that wood race elite. Since blood demons were created from blood, their appearances were normally indistinct and blurry. This blood demon, however, was different. It bore a great resemblance to Zhang Tanxing. It suddenly looked at the body of the wood race elite with its bright red eyes. Him? He knows more about the graveyard of gods than anyone here, Jiayu answered. The blood demon opened its mouth and took a deep, lengthy breath. Swoosh. As a result of the blood demon's actions, the rich life energy within the wood race clansman's body transformed into multiple streams of emerald liquid. These streams flew from the body, mixed with blood energy and refined spirit energy, and actually shot right into the demon's bloody maw. Bang. The body of the wood race clansman, which had been brimming with life energy, rotted as all of its essences were extracted from it. When a gust of frigid wind blew across it a few moments later, the rotted corpse crumbled to dust and spread into the air. Without the protection of the refined spirit energy, it turned to dust as if thousands of years had gone by in an instant. On the other hand, the body of the demonified Zhang Tanxing, which already surged with tremendous blood energy, emanated an even greater life force than before. It seemed as if its strength had skyrocketed, becoming several times stronger. The residual shockwaves of energy created by the clashes between the demon sealing tombstone and the three spirit were no longer able to affect him. Isn't that Zhang Tanxing a member of your celestial artifact sect? Yu Men yelled in a grave tone. He and Feng Yu currently stood at the edge of the frozen lake. They were looking down at the land of buried gods, which looked so vast that it resembled an abyss. The expression on Feng Yu's face became increasingly grim as he stared at every single one of Zhang Tanxing's movements. Don't you know that he and Zhang Zuz are evil remnants of blood fiend sect? Yu Men asked, snorting coldly. Feng Yu wore a dark expression, a complicated look in his eyes. He had yet to answer Yu Men's questions. Celestial artifact sect exposed the secrets behind the graveyard of gods, the eight god corpses and the spatial passageway we used to enter this place. Yu Men's brow was deeply furrowed. So why does Zhang Tanxing know even more than you do? Helpless in the face of Yu Men's interrogation, Feng Yu finally told him the truth. The information on the graveyard of gods that 10,000 Beast Mountain received did, indeed, originate from Celestial Artifact Sect. However, we got that information. From Zhang Zuz and his son, Zhang Tanxing, he explained. The two of them came to Celestial Artifact Sect a hundred years ago, claiming that they knew of a great secret that would influence the future of the Land of Chaos. Zhang Zuz wanted to borrow our strength to force the god corpses to emerge from the bottom of the sea and find a spatial passageway into the graveyard of gods. Everything that Celestial Artifact Sect knew about the graveyard of gods. You learned it from Zhang Zuz? Yu Men asked in startled disbelief. Correct. Feng Yu smiled bitterly. Why has Zhang Tanxing colluded with the Eastern Barbarians? Yu Men asked. Feng Yu shook his head. I don't know. At this point, both Yu Men and Feng Yu figured out that the Zhang father son pair had only sought out Celestial Artifact Sect to use them. The areas in which the first god corpses surfaced were close to Celestial Artifact Sect. With the assistance of the Sex Elders, Zhang Zuz used Celestial Artifact Sect's strength to extract those first few god corpses from the bottom of the sea. This also meant that, without Celestial Artifact Sect's assistance, the god corpses wouldn't have appeared one after another, and a spatial passageway into the graveyard of gods never would have been found. The Zhang father son pair had used Celestial Artifact Sect to open the entrance to the graveyard of gods. They obviously had their own plan. 
The fact that they encouraged the eastern barbarians to send the elites of the three great tribes into the graveyard of the gods clearly meant that their plan differed from that of the nine great silver rank forces. From the moment that Zhang Tangxing transformed into a blood demon and began sucking the refined blood from the bodies of ancient elites, both Fang Yu and the eastern barbarians understood that the father-son pair harbored sinister intentions. At this time, the demon sealing tombstone hovered above the land of buried gods, continuously discharging dazzling godly lights to suppress the ancient giant, ape, and merfolk woman that the three spirits had possessed. Both sides were engaged in fierce battle. The only thing the demon sealing tombstone cared about was sealing the seven spirits. Regardless of how much trouble the demonified Zhang Tangxing caused, it just didn't see him as a target. Therefore, as soon as Zhang Tangxing became able to ignore the residual shockwaves that swept across the land of buried gods, it meant that he could stay there and suck the blood from the body of one ancient elite after another. The blood demon would continue growing more and more terrifying. Someone needs to stop the Zhang Tangxing in his blood demon form. Du Xiang Yang exclaimed. Otherwise, the remains of those ancient elites will be destroyed and he will just get stronger and stronger. Once that happens, no one will be able to stop him. Qin Lai's group were the only ones who thought this. Everyone else present, Sen Yi as Eastern Barbarians, Feng Yu, and Yu Men, had noticed the enormous threat that Zhang Tangxing posed. Feng Yu and Yu Men wanted to attack him, but they didn't dare to venture into the land of buried gods. Therefore, they could only watch from the periphery. Sen Yi was hesitating. After obtaining the Sun Killing Bow, he now had the ability to kill Zhang Tangxing from a distance. However, the Eastern Barbarians had an agreement with the Zhang Father Sun pair. The elders of the three great tribes trusted Zhang Zhu's trusted and planned to use him to raise the land of chaos. Zhang Tangxing's attention was currently focused on the remains of the ancient elites, not the eastern barbarians. This was why Sun Yi couldn't come to a decision. If we don't kill Zhang Tangxing now, all of us will soon die. Harsh light shone from Wu Chan's eyes. He was the first to take action. Seven moon slash. Seven sword beams shaped like crescent moons suddenly shot into the air high above the land of buried gods. Each crescent sword beam radiated a harsh, sharp aura. They shot toward Zhang Tangxing at the bottom of the frozen lake each prismatic sword beam growing even more dazzling than before. At a glance, the seven crescent-shaped sword beams actually made it seem as if the cold midnight moon had come crashing toward the ground. This was one of Luo Chen's greatest sword arts. Grey uh, The blood demon roared at the sky, terrifying bloody light erupting from its eyes. Bloody screens of light appeared as it charged toward the incoming attack. Bloody screens flooded over the seven cold crescents made of bright light, corrupting them with a thick fiendish aura of blood. The sword beams went dim, their light instantly disappearing. Whack. Luo Chen spat out a mouthful of blood as the harshness in his eyes suddenly softened. This signified that his sword will had dissipated. Zhang Tangxing's blood aura is too powerful. I can't kill him, and he'll only grow stronger with each passing second. After making this declaration, Luo Chen sat down and focused on treating his injuries. Qin Lai and the others weren't the only ones that had been watching Luo Chen attack. The Eastern Barbarians, Yu Men, and Feng Yu had been watching as well. They had seen everything and noticed, immediately after he attacked Zhang Tangxing, Luo Chen spat out a mouthful of blood and sat down. Although he had initially been hesitant about what to do, an expression of wariness appeared on Sen Yi's face. At the same time, shock filled Feng Yu's and Yu Men's faces. 